Another young man from the Midwest United States goes missing and has now been gone for weeks in a situation that we've seen play out far too many times this last year alone. Today we're looking at what happened to Trevor Boyd. Hello my friends and welcome to Not Famous. We've covered so many cases as in Chance Engelbert, Chris Lupin, and others of young males from the Midwestern area of the United States that go missing and are not seen or heard from after that point. They're neither found dead or alive and many clues are just left out there that go cold over time. This is the case once again as we look at what happened to Trevor Boyd, a young 28 year old white male from Lyman, Wyoming. Trevor had left his job site in Bridger Valley outside of Evanston, Wyoming in the southern side of the state. He had a paycheck from a few days before that has still to this day not been cashed. Uh, when he left, his phone activity quit. Nobody's been able to see any pings tie back to it. There's been no financial activity since that date as well. He was last seen on November 16th. Some members of a group searching for him believe that he was reported seeing walking near I-80 near the interstate and has not been seen since then. He also has not gone back to his vehicle, his car. It is where it was. All of his other possessions seem to be unaffected. He has not had a chance to go grab any of them if he was in any effort trying to take off. Trevor can be seen with uh, many tattoos, one of the Wyoming uh, steamboat as well as many others that help identify him. He does have a condition of bipolar schizophrenia, which I've read about, and he has not taken any medicine with him. It's believed that that has been left as well. There are discussions that he was on probation previously and that he had previously been known to have some kind of suicidal tendencies, although many friends report that they had recently talked to him. He seemed in good spirits, had many plans for the holidays in the near future. He's been missing since the 16th of November. On the 24th of November, he was placed into the NCIS, the National Case of Missing Persons, database. Seen this case covered locally in a few places with a little bit of information out there. I haven't seen any national coverage. I don't believe that the FBI or any federal uh, units are on this case. Local law enforcement does seem to be helping out, although there's been some debate about to what extent they've made the resources available to help search for him. There have been local search efforts by the family and friends and turned up nothing yet. Trevor does seem to have a large following of people that are very concerned about him and want to know what happened. And that's where the case sits, my friends. It's now early December. He's been missing for a matter of weeks. We don't see any financial activity, cell phone activity, any indication that he's out there living his life. And so things do seem wrong, and it's getting colder outside. And so the search continues. Updating this case, as new details come in, you don't want to miss a thing. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We will find out what happened to Trevor Boyd. Friends, it's always good to talk to you. I hope you're having an amazing day and that you have an amazing week. I'll talk to you again, and as always, adios amigos. Famous, famous, famous. Not famous. <laughs>